One of the main challenges of the humanity at the moment is uh, global warming, which is most probably caused by the emission of carbon dioxide uh, as a result of human activity. Electrical power generation based on fossil fuels is um, cost efficient, but unfortunately it emits a lot of carbon dioxide. While the second group uh, based on renewable uh, fuels is really very environmentally friendly, but unfortunately it is still too expensive. Taking into account uh, this uh, consideration, uh, it has been established that in short term the best way to uh, decrease the emission of carbon dioxide is by increasing the efficiency of electrical power generation. The biogenerator which was developed in our laboratory is uh, actually the first uh, biotechnological process for electricity generation. It is based on the uh, respiration of living microorganisms and uh, it can produce electricity with very low cost and very low, even negative, carbon dioxide emissions. Here you see the bioreactor in which microorganisms uh, produce oxidant, which in turn produces electricity in our electrochemical cell. Our biogenerator can use different primary energy sources, such as uh, coal, fossil fuels in general, uh, nuclear power and uh, renewables. And in each of these cases, the biogenerator emits less carbon dioxide than the currently used uh, electricity generation technologies. In fact, uh, our technology consumes carbon dioxide from atmosphere during electricity generation, and again, it is doing it in a very highly economically efficient way. The biogenerator was invented five years ago, and our first unit uh, had a power of only 0.1 watt. Right now we have a biogenerator which is expected within one month to reach a power of one kilowatt, which is uh, 10,000 times more than our first biogenerator. In order to reach an industrial or commercial scale, we need to do two more scale-up steps. Uh, we're planning to build a 50 kilowatt biogenerator at the end of this year. And if everything goes well, we will, we are planning to build one megawatt uh, biogenerator uh, three years or four years from now. The application of the biogenerator will be for the stationary power generation uh, in the range of one to 100 megawatt. As it was mentioned earlier, the biogenerator has a unique property of uh, removing carbon dioxide from atmosphere and producing high quality protein food. For example, a 10 kilowatt biogenerator will consume close to 1,000 ton of carbon dioxide uh, from the atmosphere per year.